energy itself is changing. And as we're moving forward, we wanted to make sure we weren't reinvesting in legacy type of equipment, but in equipment that can take us to the future. PGV Oil Tools makes downhole oil tools for the oil and gas industry. In 1983, my father started the company. I moved down here about 10 years ago and kind of helped organize and streamline our manufacturing and production and inventory. So a lot of the challenges that we've faced since I've moved in was just keeping up with production. Traditionally, on some of our products, they require probably four to five different processes. Each step that you introduce introduces a new problem that could arise. And so by eliminating a lot of those steps, you eliminate a lot of the problems. And that's where desktop metal and the 3D printing comes in. From a business side of it, it allows us to print a part, a finished good part. And that's what we're looking for. So by being able to print it, it really reduces our lead time on a lot of these parts, and especially legacy parts that you don't want to run 5,000 of. Uh, in those cases, it really impacts your inventory and the amount that you're going to have to spend on running the part. The environment that those tools have to withstand is a really harsh environment, and we've been sending these parts down hole for over a year now, and we've had zero problems with them. The old way of making the part would take us two to three weeks to complete that process. Now we can 3D print it and go from printing to cross-link oven to sintering furnace in three days. And there's a lot less waste from a material standpoint that we don't have to worry about. Because with your old ways, you basically end up cutting probably 70% of your material out with additive manufacturing. There is no waste. We get to reuse the powder. So it really cuts down on our waste that we have to worry about as well. We could have chosen to just invest in more CNC lays, more CNC mills. We chose to go the additive manufacturing route because energy is changing. The whole world is changing. and We have to be able to pivot with it. 